right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. Some real quick video on uh, my viewpoints of what's going on in the world today. Now, I will tell you this, uh, as the other day after I heard that Donald Trump's house in, uh, in Florida was raided by the FBI, the nastiest, the most disgusting thing is that, uh, you know, well, the FBI is going to show up at the house with a search warrant. Well, you know, you're going to have Secret Service there. And it was probably, uh, they communicate with each other beforehand. And I was wondering, what would they do if Donald Trump was there, the FBI was there, uh, and the Secret Service was there? Uh, yeah, when I say men in uniform, God bless those men and women in uniform, I'm talking about our military folks. Uh, and, and, you know, especially those who follow the Constitution is the way it's written and intended to be by our founding fathers. And in that, I wanted to follow up with this really unique article that I read in USA Today. And I mean, this is really funny because it was a fact check on a guy named Mike Means. And he made a post in the uh, on his Facebook page. And basically, the article says on June 4th, Facebook post claimed a well-regulated militia. The term used in the Second Amendment's reference to the right to bear arms included a limitation on the number of weapons militiamen could have in 1791. Uh, and the post accrued more than 100 shares in a month. Well... <sighs> If he only shared that thing a hundred times, that guy must be uh, spending a lot of alone time, you know, mommy's basement or somebody. Anyway, I did a little research. I guess uh, Mike is over there. He was in the Navy or whatever. But anyway, and I quote, and I'll put the picture of it right here, okay? Uh, did you know in 1791 when the founders ratified the Second Amendment, a well-regulated militia was restricted to one musket, two spare flints, and 24 bullets? They had to register, and at any time, the government could enter their home, take away their weapon, and remove them from the rolls. And it goes, speaks volumes. Uh, the commenters seized on the claim to assert the Second Amendment is outdated. So basically, my thing here is that uh, when the gun control people uh, get out of hand, it's usually based on their lack of knowledge of firearms our rights and everything else. It's kind of disgusting. And through their lack of knowledge, I mean, you got the people out there who are tr writing bills that don't even know what a barrel shroud is or a butt stock. Uh, Cicilline over there telling everybody that a, a, a pistol brace is a, a bump stock. Well, anyway, that's what I'm talking about here. Uh, but what happened, it was interesting, and I'll put the, I'm going to put the article down below. Please take a minute and take a look at it. But the limitations described in the post are not accurate. The figures cited were minimum requirements for militia members, not maximums. So that what that meant was, at a minimum, if you're part of a militia or you were a person of certain age and ability, you had the requirement to have a minimum of said bullets, said flints, said rifles, uh, one spare, two spare flints and 24 bullets. That was your minimum requirements you had. I wish they would give everybody minimums now. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, instead, they want to limit everything that you can or limit everything that they can do or they will do everything they can do to limit your ability to exercise your Second Amendment right. And I'm sick and tired of hearing about deer hunting with an AR or deer don't wear bulletproof vest. We're going to be talking about that in a few uh, upcoming videos because they're trying to ban your ability to, I don't know, wear body armors like I got right back there. Why is that, folks? Because the feds want to be able to take you out at their will. Uh, the Post also gets the timeline wrong. The Second Amendment was ratified in 1791, but the federal law on militia armaments didn't pass until a year later. The user who shared the Post provided no evidence it was true in a response to USA Today. The reference appears to originate from the Militia Act of 1792. Oh, around the same, and I'm reading, this is uh, a quote from the, uh, the gentleman who wrote this. Around the time the Second Amendment was ratified, there was not a law that set a maximum amount of firearms or ammunition that an individual could possess. As the Facebook post claims, said David Copel, a firearms policy and constitutional law expert who works as a research director in the Independence Institute of the Independence Institute. But there were laws that were established a minimum level of equipment required for militiamen. There were also minimum requirements for men who were too old to serve in the militia or female heads of households. The mention of specific weapons requirements in the Facebook post was presumably referring to the Uniform Militia Act legislation enacted by Congress in 1792. I know this is pretty pretty boring, but this is what 
the uh, Uniform Militia Act read in, in states in part, this is so cool. Yeah, I don't know why I'm reading this to you because you can read it yourself. Every citizen so enrolled and notified shall within six months thereafter provide himself a good musket or firelock, a sufficient bayonet and belt, two spare flints, and a knapsack, a pouch with a box therein to contain not less than 24 cartridges suited to bore of his butt musket or firelock. Each cartridge shit could contain a proper quantity of powder and ball or with a good rifle, knapsack, shot pouch, and powder horn. 20 balls suited to bore to the bore of his rifle and a quarter of pound, quarter of a pound of powder. I'm going to tell you something. Just reading that, oh man, I'm getting t- I'm getting tingles and I'm getting something else if you know my, if you follow my drift. <laughs> According to Copel, the Uniform Militia, Militia Act was the first federal law to have minimum requirements. Before 1792, states and colonies had their own laws, but even those were minimums, not maximums, as the Facebook post claims. Uh, based on his research, they rate that whole thing as false. The claim that the Second Amendment reference was the well-regulated militia was limited in 19 or 1791 to one musk and 24 balls. Uh, isn't that wonderful? So a jackass gets on there. He thinks he's got the answer to everything. Did our founding forefathers meant to have limitations on everything? Sort of like his, probably his God, what's his name, Joe Biden. Ladies and gentlemen, we are as close now as we have ever been to seeing what true tyranny is. And this is why the Second Amendment was created. So with that being said, guys, I always end them like this. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, yeah, man, that's it. Uh, we don't like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, militia men, and are those who uh, you know adhere to the Constitution as it was intended by our founding fathers. This the way, not the way that this jackass. Oh yeah, but limitations. Uh, Twenty four seven for our freedom because freedom is not free. I'm KB thirty two. Y'all be good. Boom. Oh, like video, subscribe, and all that other neat jazz. Yeah, take care.